Oh, fuck. Wait a minute. Is there not a better way? Or do we... Or is that like one of the, another Yukari shit? We saved! So we should be fine. Wahaha! <laughs> is it just me or did that la or did that laugh we just heard seem like it came from someone really dumb? Was that you, Marissa? Why do you have to point your finger at me when things like that happen? Wahaha! <laughs> Here comes the dual wielding beautiful swords woman. Ugh. Her entrance gives off the same vibe as another girl we met earlier, doesn't it? The brains of fairies and celestials work in the same way. Could that bothersome looking girl be the one Eek was talking about catching? Eek, the message of Dragon Palace is coming? Here? She's already here. She's been looking everywhere for you. Ugh, it leaked that quickly? The dual wielding beautiful sorcerer is already in a big pinch. You've been making a racket for a while. Dual wielding? Really? Since when you start carrying two swords, you normally only have one. Isn't that right? That's the sword of Houston right here. And the sword on the left is... It, what? Hey, isn't that the Ame no Murakumo? You've got a good eye. You've got good eyes, bro. This sword is hiding an amazing power. It's golden sword that tears through space at every swing. And that can be manipulated and overtake gods at will. Its name is Ame no Mu We got the idea. It doesn't have that kind of abilities at all. That's fine. It's the feeling it gives that matters. Eh, really now? So it's the real Ame? You know what? Why are you carrying it, Tenchi? Really, really? It's the real thing with a capital R. Really now? What would such a half-hearted man like you be hoarding that divine sword? It's so wasteful. And since it was such a waste, I took it from the warehouse at your place. Eh, <laughs> you should be grateful. I really hate people who only do as they please, and, and you're just a simple thief, aren't you? So you really stole the Ame from Rinosuke's place? Really now? This is a new fad for Celestials nowadays? Ah, the shopkeeper may have some powers uh, some powers to know its name and how, to, how it's used, but you still knew nothing. Instead of using your power, did you try sitting down and actually try and listen to its words, shopkeeper? The sword has been talking to me every night. I want you to wield me and conquer the whole world. It boomed those words to me all the time. Of course, it's only natural for me to get into a heroine-like situation. The sword trolls me. I will hear no objections. The sword's voice stops saying stupid things and give it back already. Stupid things? How rude. The celestial heroine had just attained the uh, Ame, the divine sword that makes the heavens quake, quiver with fear. And right at the moment, a great tree that pierces the sky appears. Just thinking about it gets me excited. The heavens are calling for me. The heavens are mine. Mine? With that said, I will be making my way to the top of this great tree. Is this girl stupid or what? You're always gone on up on your onanistic rubbish so much that I've become numb to it. But now that you actually have something pretty amazing to back up your talk, I suppose it's not something we can leave alone. Agreed. It's the first I've seen both the sword and the celestia. Yet I can feel intensity. I can feel intensely divine aura the Ame is emitting and the mental instability of the celestia who's willing it. This is something we have to deal with. What, you want a piece of me? I'm a celestial that holds the power of heaven, willing the divine sword once presented to the gods. Do you understand what that means? Nope, not at all. It ain't gonna matter in a minute after we've settled this situation. My, you have quite the mouth on, don't you? Ah, oh, no, no. An easy victory for me against you would be truly dull. Besides, right now, I am fairly busy. I have to climb this tree. Who cares about your situation? One of our goals was to retrieve the army. An easy victory for me, was it? Whatever your reason and goals may be, you think we're gonna let you let one of our go our own goals get away so easily? Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> I'm no choice, it seems. Hmm. Alright, then I'll play with you for a bit. I don't think we're winning this one. Call me crazy, but I don't think we're winning this one. I'm just gonna let it slide. I don't see what happens. I think this is a battle we're meant to lose. But, wait, I want to see how much damage we can do, though. Yeah, definitely not much. I just I just want to... We're not winning this one. Are we actually supposed to fight here later on? Oh, actually, we, we actually got a fighter? For real? Fuck. Seriously? We actually got a fighter? Fuck. So how the fuck do we do with this, then? Because obviously we're like fucking 20 plus levels below her. Okay. Okay, that's a that's a good fucking start, all right. Oh wait a minute, we took on no 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 no
We took on... Oh no, that was blocked. That was, that was patchly shit. I was, I was trying to think, didn't we have something else to deal with? Huh. We are in a pickle, aren't we? We are in a pickle. Huh. We are in a fucking pickle. I do not know what to say. I do not know what to say. Give me a second. I, I got, this is... In, well, 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 let me ch figure this shit out. Um... Obviously, it wouldn't make sense to go back to E because theoretically we have not seen this cutscene yet, you know? We haven't seen Tenchi yet, so it wouldn't make sense to go back to E. Oh, I, hell, she probably disappeared too anyway. So it wouldn't make sense just to go back to her because she wouldn't even be there in the first place. Oh, crap. I'm gonna go up there. Alright, alright, alright. So be right back. I'm gonna try to figure this out, okay? Alright, so, uh. We're dealing with this again, so let me explain. So I looked it up, and you don't kill her, as I thought, but you can't slack off either. But your goal is to stall her for 10 turns. So praying to Orange Jesus to actually slow her off the bat. So this is where Chiuno and um, Komachi come to play, because they both can slow. Um, form change. Just bring out everyone to die at this point. You can't. There's, there's also some gimmick shit. If you can beat her before she runs away, you get some really busted items. But she has 96,000. And one way to handle her is to poison her and or actually it's just to poison her because at this level or you can grind, which I don't have the fucking tolerance to do it. So I don't really care about the items too much. They are good though. They are really powerful items, which makes sense because if you, you the goal is if you can get to 66% before she runs away in the 10 turns. You get rewarded these amazing fucking items, but I'm way too lazy to deal with that, and I am um, not. And also, we need other characters as well to get this to work. And I'm not really in the mood to go through the hassle. So what I'm just I'm just gonna deal with it, and I'll lose the item if I lose the item. That's unfortunate, but it is not worth it. So yeah, um, that's that is the strat. That is the strat the game wants you to approach it. You can't kill her. Not enough damage. We just have to stall it out. Can can she can she survive one? No, like it's just speeding her down. Oh wait, no, speeding out actually just works if you're trying to kill her. Actually, yeah, nothing about it. You can survive ten turns. So theoretically, you just throw on units, and yeah. But weakening her is not a bad idea too. I would say. Fuck, wrong ability. Wrong ability. Yeah, we can hurt. It's still not a bad idea, though. More freezing? More slowing? Okay, she, she can't be slower past 50%. Alright, it, it wouldn't have done much, really. But really, it's, this, this is a battle of just keep stalling for 10 turns. It's all you want to do. Stall 10 turns, and then you're good to go. So if you have the party 12, theoretically, I think you should be good. Because if she only does a single target attack, which she's doing right now, you should... If, I actually want to see how much poison damage Wriggle can do, really. I actually want to see. I mean, theoretically, could we? Could we do it? It actually seems doable. Actually, I might. I'm actually. I'm actually give this attempt. I might give this attempt. For now, for now, though. Actually, we're gonna get the ten turns. I'm actually gonna re reload. I'll save a second file, obviously. Save a second file, reload, and then do that. It actually might be doable with poison and Yomu silence or whatever. Uh, we'll, we'll try that out. We'll try that out. I'll give it one attempt off. I'm not going to spend a whole long time, you know? It's just want to see if it's possible. If it's possible, then yeah, we can get the items. But it's only purely on poison, though. So, yeah. Ten turns, though. So... Theoretically, she needs to kill two more people and then we won this battle. We'll still get the dialogue and we'll do that. Um, I'll do the battle off screen and we'll see if I can beat it. Because I'm only give it one attempt with this setup. Because Riggle. 
obviously does pretty good damage because she's the only one who can do damage. So whoever she kills next, I think it should be game over after. Like we should win this one theoretically. All right, right. Ten turns. Yes. There you go. So we didn't get anything. So we did get that. We did get those. I <sighs> still have much more to give. Did you think you would have enough strength to do against my new power befitting of the heroine that I am? Gah. Good grief, that girl is strong. Huh, alright, time to head for the heavens. Go for it, Tenshi. Oh, that's right. Well, man, I should go mess with those around with the gap, with that gap yoke and ghost pair. Those two should make a more, much, bit more enjoyable of a battle. Anyway, so long. If you want to get back the army, the least you can do is get stronger to match up to me. Bye bye. Ugh. Well, I'm beat. That girl was really powerful. Was she always so strong? Well, Celestials have never been pushovers, but they shouldn't be as powerful as that. If that's the case, then that means that was the army's powers. Hmm, what can we do about that thing? Even if you say, what can we do about the thing? We don't have any other choice but to climb up and chase after it, do we? Yeah, for the time being, let's not get discouraged from chasing after this. Tenshi can laugh now, but we'll make sure she won't be laughing at the end. Well, you folks certainly don't get discouraged. Alright, and so then this, that, so that, we just need to do that. Yes, and then get the... Oh, okay. Ma, what do we have here? The terrain's all different now. Woo, we finally out of the sea. Ah, oh, this kind of place suits me way better. I'm not too sure what place would could really be called the sea. What was it anyway? Who knows? Whatever the case, that sea-like area made me feel like I was floating. If it, if it was really good for sleeping, if I could bottle it and bring it back somehow, I'd do so right now. That does sound good. If you could bring back something like that, I'm sure it would sell well in my store. We should give it a try once we uh, we take a break from the expiration. I like your thinking, Mister. Let's meet up back at the inn and we can talk shop. Yes, 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 that can happen when we actually take a break from the Great Tree Exploration. What? Right, a Great Tree. Exploration comes first. What kind of place is this anyway? It looks kind of like the forest in the first floor, but the atmosphere is a bit different. It's all damp and humid. It feels a lot worse. It could pass over a forest, but I suppose a more suitable description given the atmosphere could be a subtropical jungle. Think there'll be lots of bug? Perhaps. It looks like the habitat for poisonous insects. Not like it matters. All we need to do is burn them all up. Sounds simple to me. And sounds and simple as good. Go for it, Oku. Gotcha. I may not have been able to strut myself in the sea, but you'll see me blast. You'll see the best of me in here. Just remember, when you burn them all up, you don't have to burn us as well. Waypoint. Okay, good. Okay, let's go back. So that's it. But save second file. I'm gonna load the file from here. That should have everything. Yes, this was the. Comp I had so I am uh, gonna give it a shot. I don't think I is really needed. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. Rigo actually needs to be in the back because she's the one doing the damage. Really. Let's give us a shot. Obviously, we're gonna get bodied, but we just need to stall. Maybe the poison could do the damage. Um, I will do this by myself, and then I'll I'll cut after. I'll I'll keep it if it works, right? If it doesn't really work, then you know it didn't work out, all right? And then I'll just go to the outro, all right? So be right back. Yeah.